in today's video i'm going to show you guys five hidden features in final cut pro that's either going to get you feeling this way wow or that way okay i'm so curious to know which ones are new to you guys and which ones you guys already know in the comment section box below all right guys let's get started today's video is sponsored by creation more on that later on this video for this to work you have to turn on the loop playback for the entire timeline by going to view playback then select loop playback also you can get access to that by using the shortcut keys command l now let's say you have a video clip on your timeline and you just want to play that small clip with this you just select the clip press slash key on your keyboard and it's just gonna loop playback only the video that you've selected let me drop black and white on it it's still gonna play back and if you want to turn the intensity down and still see how it looks like it's still gonna play back whilst i do the necessary changes over here i can also do so many things let's say if i want to increase the reds in it the video is still gonna play back and it's gonna help me to see exactly how my effects gonna look like the same with the audio too if let's say if the audio file of this video clip i want to do some changes to it i can easily go to my audio inspector side go to equalizer and just be playing around it whilst the video still keeps playing and this is going to save you much time without using the mouse and the space bar to be playing back back and forth i use this a lot when i want to fine tune my cut in between two clips i'm going to use this as an example with me drinking the tea you can see one clip it's a wide of me drinking the tea and another clip close up from the another angle of me drinking the tea go between the two clips so this is going to be our outgoing clip and this will be our incoming clip double click in between the two clips and it's going to bring the real time editor out so what it shows is this line is going to be our edit point that's where the transition occurs when i skim through this this shows the remaining part of our outgoing clip that we can add to it and this shows the remaining part of our incoming clip that we can work around it so with the precision editor this is what you do now with this two clip i want to cut it such a way that it will not show to my viewers that i did a cut and this precision is going to make it look so seamless so with this you just click here when i click here instantly you can see from the viewer side it gives me both the outgoing clip and also the incoming clip when i drag to the left i'm cutting some part of the outgoing clip whilst i'm stretching the starting points of the incoming clip and with this you can easily see at your viewer side and know exactly where to make the cut so from this you can see it doesn't really come clean so this what you do with this we want the cut to be where i'm lifting the cup so just go to this side click on that and it's going to make a cut over there now we we'll go to my incoming clip and see exactly where i was raising the cup click on that and it's going to make the cut there then i'll use this very edit line to fine tune it so now I'll just go somewhere here and right over there you can see from the viewer side i can easily see the movement and how it looks or it's going to look like so from here i'll just leave it like that double click that and it's going to bring me back to my normal timeline now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like you know captions means a lot with social media content these days and with this it's going to help you get access to images symbols that you can easily use with your caption you can do that by pressing Control command and the space bar and it's going to give you this pop-up menu the character viewer window that you can see all your emojis your symbols bullet stars currency symbols that you can add to your captions for this to work you have to combine that with the title so you just go to title sidebar select basic title drag it to where you want your captions to be then go to your test inspector side delete the test that comes with it go to any of this that you want to select so with this we can click on emoji arrows let's use emoji for this tutorial click on the emoji that you want to use by just dragging and dropping it in your test side and it's going to show right on your viewer side you can later on increase the size by going to your transform increasing the size under scale all or you can also increase the size on your test inspector side 
go to your font size then you can also increase it right over there now talking of captions another way that i use to get my viewers engaged to my content is by using graphics that comes from creation the sponsor of today's video creation store provides you with modern tools that's gonna help you create some killer videos that's gonna get your viewers hooked to your content all the time on creation store you can find graphics templates lots presets call out that you can easily drag and drop on your timeline they also provide you guys with lots of parameters and they are very user friendly and guess what guys the good news is creation provides you guys with 10 percent discount off on their website by using the code joey thanks once again to the guys from creation for making this video possible all right guys let's go to number four on the list this goes out to the YouTube content creators out there. You know YouTube, you have to drop some time codes in your description box below. That will make it easier for your viewers to get access to exactly the point or the place that they want to watch in your videos. So I'm going to show you guys an easy trick that you can use in Final Cut Pro. Imagine you've done with your editing, everything, your final edit, and you are ready to export to YouTube. So I'll go to the beginning. This is the intro, we'll pretend it's the intro. So I'll just drop a marker over there by pressing M. Or also I can use option M and that's gonna drop a marker and also give me the modify window. So over here, I'll just select the chapter icon, change the name to whatever I want it to show on YouTube. So with this, I'll just change it to intro. Then go to the next point that I want to name it. So from this side, warm up. So I'll just drop it option M select chapter right warm up over here go to the next one so after doing that i'll go to index and it's going to give you this clips tags and rows click on the tags and then you can select the chapters and it's going to give you all the chapters that you've named with the time code from here i'll go to the ending part in my timeline go to test inspector site select basic title drag and drop in my timeline go to my test inspector delete this go to alignment align to your left from here i'll start writing the same names with the time code in my test side so with this i'll just write 0000 and that will be my intro go to next next was warm up that was starting from three seconds so same way 0003 warm up then i'll go through with the rest of the points when it's done i'll just select all command c to copy it go to my youtube description box and just command v to paste it right there and with this it's going to save you a lot of time without really watching through the whole video and putting down the time code from the video for this to work you have to click on any video in your browser then go to view browser then select used media ranges and this what it happens whenever i select a clip in my browser let's say i and o for out point drop it on my timeline e it's gonna give you this orange color at the down and this shows that you've used that part of this video clip and this is gonna help you avoid using the same part over and over in your timeline on in your edit but you can have a lot on the same clip let's say the same clip i want to select this part i for in point o for out point e drop it in timeline and it's going to give you that orange color when i delete in my timeline it's going to disappear from my browser side now if you want to know more about final cut pro you can check on this catch you guys on the next one peace